Hi all, this is Anjali this side and today we will be doing JDBC. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. As we have been working in NetBeans to create different application using different graphical user interface tools. Now those tools will help you to design the screen. We add the coding part to perform some calculations to check conditions and show the result. But that all is temporary. The moment you click on the clear or refresh button, that all gets cleared and it's not saved anywhere. I want that whatever I have filled in the NetBeans forms should be saved somewhere permanently from where I can fetch it again as and when required. And that can be done with the help of JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. Because for any software, the most important thing is data. Data needs to be stored, data needs to be managed in the way how you retrieve it, how we give different conditions to find the matching data. We need to modify the data time to time depending upon different requirement. So for that, we have done the SQL commands earlier and now we are going to connect both of these things together that is the Java and SQL. To do this, you must have a database in SQL or any of the backend softwares and we must design the screens in NetBeans. Now we are going to connect them to with the help of these steps. So basically we have four steps to execute a very basic SQL command from NetBeans on any of the backends. In this example we are going to take backend as MySQL and frontend as your NetBeans IDE. The first step to connect to the database is to set the driver. Now what exactly is a driver? Driver is a utility or a software which helps to move data from one part of computer to another. Like we have devices, printer, scanner and all, we have drivers for them as well. Same way to move the data from Java to MySQL and from MySQL to Java, we need a driver. And to set which driver we are using, we have this command that's class dot for name. Class C is capital, dot for is all small and a name N is capital. Java is highly case sensitive, so you have to take care of the cases. So it's class dot for name in round brackets in double quotes. I have to mention the driver name. It can be anything depending upon your database and the connector you are using. For our example, we are using this driver that's com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. This driver name is again case sensitive, so com dot mysql dot jdbc has to be in small letters and B in the driver has to be capital. So that is how we write the driver name. Second step is to establish the connection. For that we are going to use a predefined class in a package named SQL. So we have a predefined package in Java named SQL which you need to import to work with the JDBC thing and the connection class is defined in that package. So how do we write? Establish the connection can be done with this line. Connection, that is a predefined class, C capital. Give some name for the object, like I have given CON, you can give anything you want. Is equal to driver manager. Driver manager is again a predefined class with DNM capital. Dot get connection. C is capital in this. We have to pass three arguments to the get connection method. The first one is the database name. Second is the username. And third is the password. Example, I write connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection. For writing the database name, I write it like this JDBC colon MySQL colon to slash localhost slash. Till this slash, you have to write the same thing always when you're connecting to MySQL. And then this name will change as per the work you're doing. So right now in this example, I'm writing school. That's the database name, for example. And then I have to give the username that is root for MySQL and the password as per your computer. I've taken 123 for an example over here. <coughs> After creating the connection, we have to create a statement. So statement is again a predefined class in the SQL package. So you have to write statement. Take an object name for that is equal to connection dot create statement. This line will be writing more or less the same way always to create a statement. With the help of this statement object, we actually execute the SQL query on the database. 
So to execute this statement, we have two options. One is statement object dot execute query, and the other one is statement object dot execute update. The difference between the two is like execute update we will be using when we have to insert update, delete, or insert command. Since that command will change the database content but will not give you anything back. So this command basically returns the number of rows affected but not any data as such. But st.execute query command works or executes a select command on the database. So in return it fits a number of records and those records we have to take in a results set that we'll be doing or discussing in detail when we'll do a practical example of that. Right now, we'll be doing an example to add a record in a table. We need to insert a record in the table. So for that, we must have a table first. So let's go to SQL first. So this is my SQL screen. In this, I have a database named events. So I have to write use events to make that database active. So database has changed. You want to see which all tables are there. So we can write show tables. That shows me the list of tables in the database. So there is one table named event. If I want to see the structure of the table, I write describe event. So we have these six columns in it, having event ID, name of the event, organizer, tentative date, status, and duration. So out of this, event ID is integer, and it is the primary key as well. And rest all are of type varchar. We want to check if there is some data already in the table, which is there. So what all data is there, we can get with the help of select star from event so there are these two records in this we want to add more and those we will not be adding from here we will be adding that from net beans so like you know in sql insert into command is used to insert a record but that command we're going to run from java now instead of running it directly in my sql i have designed the screen over here for event id name organizer tentative date status and duration so these are all labels and these are the text fields out here for each of the labels where user will enter the values. And clicking on save will save the values entered in the text fields to the table over there in MySQL. So the first step is to design the screen. Okay, we have designed this. After that, what you have to do is you can see over here on this part, event management under this project thing. So we have this event management project. In that, I have this page add event on which we are working right now and in libraries you can see there is a connector called mysql connector now this mysql connector is not there by default so for this you have to right click on the libraries folder then go to add jar and obviously this mysql connector should be downloaded to the computer on which you are working and from this add jar option you have to add that mysql connector into your project so it will be added to your project if you select from here in my project it's already added otherwise we would have added from here so it should be added here only then your jdbc will work if you don't add the connector even if you write the whole code jdbc will not work so after adding this now i go to the i go to write the whole code over here and before we start the actual code of the button i'll show you what i have imported on the top so on the top i've written import java.sql.star that means all the classes of SQL package are imported to this program. So I can use all the classes defined in the SQL package. We will be using the class connection, driver manager, and statement. So these three classes are defined in the SQL package out here. So from here, the code actually starts. And this try, I have to write as a compulsion. Try catch is used to deal with runtime errors in Java. So we write the keyword try start the curly brackets which closes over here where there is a yellow mark and after that we have catch exception and this so this you have to write as it is the main code is this for the jdbc thing so to start with the first line is class dot for name which sets the driver the second line is connection you can see the line is similar to one i showed you and over here instead of school the database name is events then we create the statement now the final thing is to execute so that line is over here statement dot execute update queue so this will execute my query on the database but this query queue we need to create it and you can see over here in queue i have put insert into event values round bracket and some values are concatenated that is joined here 
why do we need this concatenation because first we need to fetch the values from the text fields so i have taken the required string variables here then from t1 i fetch the id in id variable then name organization tentative date and everything then we write insert into event values whatever you see in double quotes is something which will remain fixed in the query then it will plus means join the value then it will join the value of id with it for example the id is 51 so the query becomes insert into event values round bracket 51 then it will attach comma and single quote with it then it will attach the value of variable n that is name of the event then again single quotes comma and single quotes we are attaching single quotes because rest of the values are of type var char and they must be enclosed in single quotes similarly for the other fields at the end we close the bracket so this line actually creates the insert into command which should be executed on the mysql interface and st.execute update will actually execute the command on the database and then i need to show a message to the user that the record has actually been saved for that we have this j option pane dot show message dialog saved so if the record is saved successfully it will show a message saved in case there would be some error that error is shown with the help of this line so let's try executing it and see whether it enters the data in the table or not so we click on run file option which will run this file and on the screen i'll be getting the screen which we designed So let's say the event ID is 790. Name is Christmas party. An organizer is Mr. ABC. Tentative date is 24 December 2017. Status is ready. Duration is one day. Let it be like this, or let it be five hours. Whatever you want. And then finally i need to click on save so that this data goes in the database so when we click on save we get this message saved we need to check whether it's added or not so we'll go to the sql screen again and i run the command select star from event and you can very well see that we have this record added over here which we added through java netbeans screen so this is how we connect java and mysql together and insert a record so To sum up, first you need to set the driver, then establish the connection, create a statement, form your SQL query, and execute it. You need to practice a bit in the concatenation stuff. Always remember, whatever is in double quotes, that remains same. Plus, we can attach value of a variable wherever we need. So this is how we create a very basic application to insert a record with the help of JDBC. Hope it was useful. In case of any doubts, do write in the comment section. And to keep getting such videos, do subscribe the channel. Thank you.